Well, it took me longer than I expected to get that token, so that's what I have to split this recording in two parts. So I already got the token, and you can actually see it here when you go to hosted uh, hosted curator, and here's the token. It is important for you to make sure that you get this token from an email and not just that you see it in here because it might be displayed here but it will not fully ready so it's best if you wait until you get your uh, actual email indicating what the, what the token is so I grab the token and I'm going to go to my VMware instance of it and notice that when you log in you have that command specified there So that's the command that we need to issue. Okay, so we're going to hit enter and it's going to take a while until it presents the first dialog. I'm going to pause the video until that happens. Oh, here it is. That was, that was much faster than I expected. So last time we will, uh, we selected the option below. Now we need to select this option right here tab and then next and then we need to put the token and the host name if you are because you are not SSHing into this box you will need you don't have typically you don't have a uh, copy paste uh, capability so I'm going to post the video until I put those two pieces of information so here I put the host name again this is the fully qualified name from my browser the, the QRock instance and then the token I after doing this I definitely recommend you to do SSH root at and put the IP address of your VMware image so you can do copy paste okay after hitting next we are presented with this screen so we tap onto next it's a direct connection, we are not using a proxy, and we hit enter. And it's doing some validation. I'm going to pause the video until I get the screen back to keep the video short. Okay, so that took a couple of minutes and now we are presented with the password. That's the password that we set in the first part of this video. Okay, let me try that again. Okay, the process continue, pausing the video again. So, so as you can see in the background, there is that request for deploy changes that nobody should comply to, leave the system alone, make sure that nobody else that is uh, that have access to the QRO console deploy the changes because that will break things up. And I'm of course uh, masking the a fully qualified name of uh, the instance of my QRock instance. So that took easily, you know, around let's say 30 minutes. I wasn't counting the, the time exactly, but I, I would say that it felt like uh, 30 minutes or so. And uh, I went to log activity and put a filter. Remember, if you remember, this is the IP address of my data gateway. And here we see, we see data here. So it is connected and that concluded uh, the installation of a data gateway on-prem to send the content of your local system onto QRock. I'm sure you know this already, but all you need to do from this point on is to configure your log sources on-prem to send their logs to the IP address of the data gateway. In my case, it was 172. 1660.166 and it will compress them, encrypt them and send it securely to QROC.